Sarah, you should have seen her. She gave him a look that could cool off a moose at me in time. Thank you. Just so he don't take the doll to a bed. Havana, he could not take this doll to the new rope shelf. Say, where's Nathan? He ought to be lining up the game. I don't know. He's probably trying to talk to Adelaide. She's mad at him. Again. That Miss Adelaide, she is always taking his mind off of honest work. It's too bad that a smart businessman like Nathan Detroit has got to go and fall in love with his own fiance. Benny, that is his weakness. And we should be tolerant. For I'm told it's a worldwide weakness. Look! What's playing at the Roxy? I'll tell you what's playing at the Roxy. A story about a Minnesota man so in love with a Mississippi girl that he sacrifices everything and moves all the way to Biloxi. That's what's playing at the Roxy. What's in the Daily News? I'll tell you what's in the Daily News. A story about a guy who bought his wife a small movie with what otherwise would have been his union dues. That's what's in the Daily News. What's happening all over? I'll tell you what's happening all over. Guy sitting home in front of a television set who once used to be something of a rover. That's what's happening all over. Love is the thing that has licked them. And it looks like Nathan's just another victim. Yes, sir. When you see a guy reach for stars in the sky, you think that, that he's doing it for some dog. When you spot a John waiting out of the rain, chances are he's insane, as only a John to be for a change. When you meet a gent paying all kinds of rent for a flat that could flat the top of the hall. Steady job, and he smells.